15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Condition. Lift off. Power and telemetry nominal. Top hunter stations are receiving. satellite to low Earth orbit. Right now the vehicle is passing through max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the airframe. The vehicle actually throttles itself down for this uh, portion of the flight in order to reduce structural stresses. happening all very, very quickly together. Uh, that's going to be main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start, boost back burn start, and fairing deploy. It's going to happen really fast, so uh, let's watch the views we have on your screen. 100. Coming up in about 10 seconds. We had a successful main engine cutoff and then a good stage separation of that first stage. Uh, you can see the second stage Merlin vacuum engine lighting up right now, uh, heating up and preparing to boost that payload. separate views. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see the, uh, that's a view from the top of the first stage of Falcon 9, currently executing a boost back from the that's shot from the ground, as we can see it here in California. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see the bottom of the second stage, as its own vacuum engine continues to push that Southcom 1A satellite. That second stage will continue burning. It's burning back in all the way until 10 minutes of the flight. What you're seeing on the left-hand side of your screen is a beautiful shot from the ground in California of the exhaust gases of that first stage. in California may be able to see this from outside. You can see the grid fins on the side of the rocket have extended. I think so. It does fire. Can you see the third dot there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, something's coming down. Those puffs of gas coming from the rocket that you can see from the ground are uh, the reaction control system on that first stage as it maintains its attitude coming back down towards the pad. It 
The boost back burn is now complete from that first stage. The next thing coming up at 5 minutes and 56 seconds will be the start of the entry burn. This entry burn happens just as the first stage hits the thicker regions of the atmosphere. So it can slow itself down and avoid damage to those nine Rowan engines, which are entering first into the atmosphere. You can see uh, periodic bursts from those uh, cold gas thrusters in the side of the first stage. <laughs> So for those of you just joining us, we are currently following the first stage as it heads back towards the LZ-4 at Vandenberg Air Force Base on the left-hand side of your screen, and on the right is the second stage of the rocket as it continues to ascend. Oh, look up There it is. That's the start of the entry burst of that Falcon. This burn is only about 30 seconds uh, right now. Wow, that uh, first stage is mostly empty of fuel, so it's actually pretty light. It doesn't need that much force to slow it down. And that looks like the shutdown of the entry burn. You're getting views both from the top of the Falcon 9 first stage uh, as it comes down through the air, and also from the ground, uh, visible from California. Seeing that the sun is now below the horizon, we probably won't see much more of the first stage until it lights up its engines final landing burst that's going to happen at T plus uh, 7 minutes and 14 seconds. Coming up uh, almost in about 5 seconds now. Again, they're landing almost in the same spot that they took off. Yeah. 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 There it is. There it is. Oh. Oh. Standing oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. That Falcon 9 first stage should be approaching the ground just about in five seconds here. Let's watch as it attempts to land. It appears that the Falcon 9 first stage has just stuck the landing at LZ-4 at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Uh, this is great news for SpaceX. A reminder that this is the first time we've ever landed a rocket first stage back at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Uh, great news for everyone here. Uh, we're all extremely excited. Like I said, most of our team is at the launch site right now, and they must be on their minds. So uh, that is awesome. Uh, right now, however, that is not the end of our mission today. The primary mission is still ongoing. On the center of your screen, you can see that Merlin vacuum engine attached to the second stage is still uh, pushing the Southcom 1A satellite into low Earth orbit. We're going to continue thrusting that Merlin vacuum engine until T plus 10 minutes and 8 seconds when that second stage engine is cut off. Uh, that's an event called Seco, second engine cut off one.